This is Henry X Pieces with the engine, and you're tuned in to Connect. See, just text it diligent, yeah, because the outfit's making sense. I told him it costs to be the boss and to be this flies the same expense. What's up? It's Henry Game, also known as Henry X Pieces on Instagram. A little bit about myself. I grew up in Houston, Texas. I was actually born in Nigeria. Started drawing in third grade. It started out with like Dragon Ball Z characters and Naruto and One Piece and different things like that, but it quickly grew to like actually painting when I took art classes in high school and middle school and even elementary school. First thing I gotta do is put on my headphones, of course, listen to whatever artist I'm painting for the moment. Um, start with picking up some paint brushes. And I think for the background for this piece, I'm gonna do a, a cadmium red mixed with yellow and a little bit of white, titanium white. Uh, go ahead and mix some of this um, cadmium yellow in there. Just a little bit. A touch of titanium white. And then we're gonna go in and mix this all together. And hopefully we get a vibrant red. A little bit brighter than I expected. I waste a lot of paint when I paint, usually. So we're gonna go in, slab that paint on there. I like the paint nice and thick. My interest in pursuing art was brought to me by um, my mother actually. She's a fashion designer. And I feel like a lot of my creativity comes from just that upbringing and just the vibrant colors that she used to use with her dresses um, really tied into like my upbringing. All right, let me take y'all through some of my favorite pieces. This Samuel Jones piece um, means a lot to me actually. I didn't have the reference image for it, so I had to actually get my older brother to model this piece for me. Um, MF Doom mask, I bought it off Amazon, and it just came together lovely with the pink background hidden with the um, green of the glass of beer. The music of choice right now is definitely Hustle Music by Lil Wayne. Now that I have that done, I'm gonna go ahead, go to a slightly smaller paintbrush. My identity influences my art because I'm heavily influenced by art, music, fashion, and just the culture in general. And I feel like that's very evident in my work. Another piece that really resonates with me is this Nintendo controller piece that I did for Nintendo. Um, this piece means a lot because this was actually my controller growing up. Like, I vividly remember playing um, the Nintendo GameCube like literally all day with my older brother and my younger brother and just my family in general. And that really resonates with me. And that just that feeling of that nostalgia. Um, I really love this piece. Let's go ahead. Let's start with the right side first. Yeah, super close. Hands have to be extremely steady for this part. I feel like Bob Ross today. The final piece that is my go-to piece is this Kanye piece. This Kanye piece means a lot to me. Old Kanye, of course. Um, it's just something about the music that he used to create when back in the day with graduation and late registration and college dropouts really resonated with me. And just that grind, and you can, you can feel like the grind in that in that music and that's kind of something that resonates with me. Um, grinding with painting and consistently painting every day is definitely something that really hit home. So that's really why this is one of my favorite pieces. Um, in the future, I would like my art to be everywhere. Um, home decor items, um, just every everyday living. I would like my art to be a part of people's everyday life. A piece of artwork usually takes me about a week to complete. A lot of procrastination, a lot of 
hard work at the same time. It's very, is the name of the game. This piece came together because I was hooked on Lil Wayne's song, Hustler's Music. Um, I was listening to that for a whole day straight, a whole week straight actually. Um, I feel like whenever I, whenever I do have a song that I'm listening to, I try to find a reference image that captures that moment in time that that song came out. I regret selling every single piece just because I love my pieces to death and I always like having art shows where people can see the pieces live. So it really sucks when I have to sell a piece, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for what I paint next.